That's Borge and Google Ads enable you to quickly gather your most important data to identify problems and spot business opportunities. Dashboards allow you to view consolidated performance metrics from across your Google account. You can access dashboards from reports and then dashboards. Here you will see a list of dashboards that have already been created. Dashboards can have three different elements. First is a scorecard, which shows your metrics. And in this, we've also selected to have a little graph at the bottom here as well. A table, and you can also have notes. From the dashboard's homepage, you can create a new dashboard by pressing the plus button in the top left-hand corner. Give the dashboard a title, let's call it Test Dashboard. Click Save. A dashboard is made up of various elements which the user defines. If we go to one of these elements and click plus, then we can choose whether it's a note, a report, or a scorecard. So first, let's choose a scorecard. Let's call this Top Metrics. Choose a date, and then you can add the measures you want to add. So I'm going to select click through rate, and I'm going to select click share, and I'm going to select conversions. And that will add these conversions to the scorecard. Now here, the next thing you can do is add a filter. So for example, you could filter by the campaigns that you have. So I'm going to want to do campaigns of from a particular country. So I'm going to do campaign name. I'm going to say campaign name contains US because that's our US campaigns as in the United States. And I also want to do campaigns that are live. So I'm going to say campaigns that are eligible to be run. And you can choose at the bottom whether you want to customize your view. You can have a spark lines, chart, percent change, or absolute change. So let's select all three of those. And here you can see in the scorecard, I've called it top metrics, and it's got these three different metrics here, and a graph line at the bottom to show the change over the time period. Now let's add a report. Here you can either add a report that you've created or a predefined report. So I'm going to add a basic campaign report. And I'm also going to add a ad group report. Finally, I'm going to add a note. This is a test note. So using dashboards, you can create a grid of easily accessible information about your campaigns and display the data in the way that you want. You can also resize these areas to display more or less data. So if you wanted to have these on three different levels. You could just do something like this. There I'm displaying using more of the screen to display more data and you'll see more columns or you can pull it down to show more rows. Once you have finished your dashboard, you can click Save As, give the dashboard a name, if it has already hasn't got one, and click Save. And then that dashboard will appear in your list of dashboards. There's Test Dashboard. Now I'm just going to show you some example dashboards that I created earlier. Got one here called UK Shopping Performance. That's for my UK campaigns. So this one, firstly at the top, we have a scorecard here, and it's been filtered by campaigns containing UK. All our UK campaigns contain the word, the text UK in it. And I've also excluded from the campaign names a campaign which doesn't have NUK in it. And I've chosen a number of metrics here to include in the scorecard. Underneath, I've got a report here, which I've called UK Shopping by Brand, and I've selected the columns this is a report which I have customized and I've got brand here and then I've selected the columns I want in that report. If you can click expand to see it more information and also to scroll through it. And underneath I've got another report here which I've called shopping product where I've got the key row as the item ID and information on the different products in the shopping campaign. Finally, search terms. I've looked here, I've got the, this is based around search terms. So I've got the search terms and then the columns related to those search terms. Another example is SE shopping, shopping performance where I've got our Swedish shopping campaign performance. Here I've got campaign contains SE. So that's, that's our Sweden campaigns, the same metrics 
and then I've got brand and then I've got products down here. If we edit this, then we can edit each element individually. So if I click on this report here, it'll just go and you can go in and edit the report and that will then appear in your dashboard. And you can select here the date range for which you want your information. So in summary, dashboards are a very useful way of displaying the information in, from your Google Shopping campaigns in a way which will help you run your business and hopefully improve your performance over time.